Story of the 1630 Panel Scene 1 John Winthrop is a Puritan lawyer from Groton in Suffolk, but with a practice in London at Gray's Inn. His income drops when the King cancels his valuable crown appointment. Bishop, later Archbishop Lord, harangues Parliament, pointing out the supremacy of the King over the Commons. Later the King dissolves Parliament and jails some MPs in the Tower. Years before, John Winthrop's grandfather, Adam Winthrop, established the family fortunes by selling broadcloth in Lavenham in Suffolk. He became master of the worshipful company of cloth workers in the city of London in 1551. Scene 2. John Winthrop on a journey through Cambridgeshire with his friend Emmanuel Downing almost drowns in mud in the marshy fens near the Isle of Eels, Ely. The Downing family are to be later founders of Downing College, Cambridge. Oliver Cromwell's house still exists in Ely and can be visited. Winthrop's family will eventually total 16 children by his four wives. Scene 3 the harassment of the Puritans and his loss of income from his legal work finally decides John Winthrop to emigrate to America. Twelve Puritan leaders, including Winthrop, meet in Cambridge, probably at Emmanuel College, and sign an agreement to set up a self-governing colony in New England, known as the Massachusetts Bay Colony, under a charter from the King. The main scene shows life in Cambridge Market. In October, Winthrop succeeds Craddock as governor of the colony. Scene 4 Winthrop is lord of the manor of Groton in Suffolk and lives at Groton Hall. He attends his last manorial court there to collect his rents and tithes from tenants and villagers. His son John will sell the manor next year and follow his father to America. Winthrop then busies himself planning the huge migration of 700 colonists and has meetings in Bury St Edmunds and Tattershall Castle with other leaders. The rector of Groton collects his own church tithes as well. Scene 5 the first three ships of Winthrop's fleet set sail from Southampton in the spring, and Winthrop begins his famous journal. They are delayed by contrary winds off the Isle of Wight, but eventually reach Salem, Massachusetts in June and come ashore to be welcomed by John Endicott and Hugh Peter and enjoy a celebratory meal of a good venison pasty and good beer. This panel was stitched by the Exeter New World Tapestry Team, led by Joan Roncarelli. The first stitch was made in Cloth Workers Hall in London on October the 26th, 1994, by the master of the company, Mr John Horn. The last stitch was made at Cold Harbour Mill in Devon on September the 13th, 1996, by Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal. Master of the Worshipful Company of Woolman. The stitch or stitches are to be found in the lower border, scene 5, on the Woolman's coat of arms shield. The Princess Royal's Stitch of Gold. Now I turn to the herbs that I've drawn. Concerning the flower of hound's tongue, Thomas Culpepper said that if you laid its leaves under your feet, it would stop dogs barking at you. Now, there's a useful tip if you're one of the judges at Crufts. <laughs>